How y'all doing out there? This is the Black Effect, the real Black Effect. I just want to touch on this topic quickly. We have to start. You have to, if you're on YouTube, and I'm really talking to the Black YouTube sector, you have to start creating content, man. I'm sick of seeing every time I look up. And this is not and this other YouTubers that's not just black YouTubers who do this, but I'm speaking specifically to the black YouTubers. I don't want to see any more gossip. You know, we're getting tired of just every time you're on a YouTube feed, it's somebody just going live, just talking. Like we don't like, you know what I'm saying? I can only deal with that for so long. It's not many topics that I want to hear about for for two hours, for three hours, like you know, and then people can't talk like they don't even people can't really even talk about a subject for three hours. You got to get people on panels and I don't want to hear them arguing about the same thing. Like we've done like that's enough talking. You know what I mean? We've done enough talking. Now, don't get me wrong. Like I said, there are certain topics that we can um, that's worth spending hours on and talking about. But not the same thing over and over like that. Con that's not really content. That's like you need to think about replay value. See, there's some videos to where people can find them, you know, years down, like two years from now. And they're going to they're going to click on it. They're going to watch it. You know what I'm saying? They're going to get um and, and get a lot of they can get a lot from it. They can they can get the same like you want the same experience. You want to create content like that. Now, look, this isn't for everybody, but I'm speaking on those who you got into this to be creative. You, you know, you're you have talent to to and something ought to offer to the world. Besides, like I said, just gossip and arguing all day. We don't want and we don't and bickering. We don't want to hear about you, you complaining and, and, and bickering about, you know, the anything for the most part. Like, we don't want to hear that. That's not really content to me. You know, people, some people like drama. Don't get me wrong. Some people love drama. Every time, it's, it's always you always got to be talking about somebody else. You always got to be talking about somebody else. It's always got to be negative. You know, like we know that in the black sector of things, it's unfortunate. But people love drama and negativity. That's the heightened. That's what they. That's what they get edified from. That's what they get entertainment from. That's what they. That's what they get life from. They want to watch that negatively. De negativity, destruction. Somebody destroying themselves. Somebody taking down another person. Oh, somebody channel get flagged or strike. Oh, now, now everybody looking and 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 oh, well, I told you I did. Th you know, that's that. That's that's that typical, stereotypical black mindset, man. Get the hell out of here with that. You know what I'm saying? Create some actual content. You got you know YouTubers on other sectors, man. They create content like where you can listen to the video two years from now. Like you may see it. YouTube will promote the video three, four years from now because it'll be it's along the vein of something that's already being talked about. Something that's popular. You know, say for example, say you got a. Um, you talking about something that have to do like you speaking on the history of hip hop. You understand the whole history of hip hop. If it's a good creative video, that video is timeless. It's going to always get some hits. You know, anybody who want to learn about the history, history of hip hop. Say you do the history of bathing ape or something like that. People can who's interested in bathing ape can always go look at your video, you know what I'm saying, and go get that. Ain't nobody gonna be looking at no uh, you know, man, I was beefing or some some I was beefing with him two years ago, like a video title, um say I was talking about O'Shea or something, O'Shea Duke, you know, uh O'Shea is a hypocrite or something like that. O'Shea this, blah blah blah. That video ain't gonna get no, you know, not gonna be that's video gonna be stale in about a week, man. Say you're doing live streams, you know, talking about another YouTube or what they ain't doing or something like that. Man, that video gonna be dead in a week, man. You on say you on their YouTube stream and just just ranting, man. You know, just ranting about the same stuff and and ain't don't have solutions like a lot of these swirlers and a a lot of these black man haters. You know, man, them video people like Cynthia G, man. No offense, but those video people people who have channels like that 
who constantly, it don't matter if you're talking about black women or black men who constantly just um, being negative, you know, with no solutions. Those channels are, are only, it's only a matter of time before they gone. YouTube is cleaning house, man. YouTube is cleaning house because the sugar always rides to the top, bro. You know what I'm saying? The shit fall by the wayside, man. We not worried. Like some of this stuff we sick of. We some of this some people should have never even had a platform on YouTube. I don't care what you say. You know, I'm a whole person that's a, a that's definitely a believer in free speech. But when it's not when it's for no purpose and it's not edifying anyone or or helping anyone, then it's just like, you know, it, or it's completely negative, then it shouldn't be um then you YouTube don't have to allow you to rock, bro. It's not your business. You can go, you can go be Mr. Negative and or Miss Negative over there on on your own. Build your own platform then, because you do understand it that you here to to really kick. Like I said, if it's not true game, you're not trying to help people with it. It's not because that's some something else that's gonna always get hits. If you you know how to improve or. You know how to get your spirituality like if you're trying to get your spirit right it's that's the same thing as working out a muscle like it's discipline that comes with that you know you can get something from that the more you get your spirit right the more things up the more your life will improve overall you know you get a relationship with the creator the creator god your a relationship with the creator god through jesus christ your life will improve overall it never comes back void. I don't care what nobody say. Um, but yeah, man, we just that's all. That's all I'm saying is just content, man. Content over bickering, you know. Creativity over, over controversy. You understand? Creativity over controversy. Creativity over controversy. Everybody should have their niche or what you do, you know, and 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 be creative in that. So instead of just, like I said, just the same talking points, random and raving, we don't need the, you know, we don't need everyone trying to cover the battle of the sexes and our look, man, it ain't about all that, you feel me? It's about, you know, we, the brothers have already got to this point of voicing what the problem is, you know, it's brothers and sisters have voiced what the problem is. Now it's time for the solutions and it's time to move forward. We need more, we need creativity, not controversy. So with that being said, this is Nico B, Black Effect. I'm gone.